my family literally cut me off financially, and I had to afford, afford security for, for us. Wait, hold, hold up, wait a minute. Your family cut you off? Yeah, in the first half, the first quarter of 2020. But I've got what my mum left me, and yeah. without that, we would not have been able to do this. Harry's financial revelations in the couple's explosive Oprah interview left many viewers wondering how much Princess Diana had left him after her death. Diana left an estate of £21 million, but more than £8 million was paid in inheritance tax, leaving £12.9 million, according to the Press Association. It was split equally between William and younger brother Harry, who were aged 15 and 12 when Diana died in a Paris car crash in 1997. The money was invested by royal advisors, which helped its value rise to around £20 million by the time Harry and Will reached the age when they were allowed to access it. I think she saw it coming. And I certainly felt her presence throughout this whole process. Diana's estate consisted of stocks and shares, jewellery, her multi-million pound divorce settlement from Prince Charles, as well as her clothing and personal items. William and Harry's great-grandmother, the Queen Mother, also reportedly left them around £14 million to split between them. But not all the couple's finances come from Harry's side. As a highly successful actress, Meghan reportedly entered the marriage with around $5 million in earnings, particularly for her role in Suits. 